Okay, so now, since we have all our hoses connected, it should look something like this. And for this particular section, you will have to be kind of creative on how you're going to be setting up your gas. Like I said, you can run your gas directly straight from here. It doesn't have to go to one of these, but it's nice because you can double adjust the gas as it comes out. Um, but like I said, you have to have a flashback resistor somewhere on this particular tube if it's going straight to your torch because you will have a flashback. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be using a regular 12 volt battery charger. Uh, the more amperage, the better. Depending on what kind of uh, charger you have, some, some chargers have a cutoff circuit to where it won't allow a negative and positive to touch. If it does, it will it'll shut down and it won't work. So you have to check your power supply on what kind you have. But if that type of power supply that you have does not work, it will work straight from a battery source if you're using a 12 volt battery, but it has to have a good charge. So I'm connecting my negative and my positive to the two terminals that I explained earlier, which are just the bolts that go straight through and it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, whichever way, it doesn't matter. So once you turn it on, you will instantly start to see the hydrogen forming out of the plate system. So your cells should look like that. And as the water starts to get foggy, that's just the hydrogen building. Okay? And then once the pressurized section starts to work in here, it pushes it through your tube into the water out of your water bubbler and here's your hydrogen and we are getting hydrogen in this section here which is being stored and as you can see our cell works really good we have a full section of hydrogen all the way down to the bottom of the cells And then in order to use your hydrogen, of course, your torch set setup section will basically you start your ignition. And at first, it's a little hard to light the hydrogen just because of the water that comes out onto the tip. But once you have gotten it started, it's very easy to light and it stays lit. It's just it's getting all the moisture out of the tubing. So our next segment, I will be showing a little demonstration about.